Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to our channel Session Buddy and in today's video we will discuss about the fruitful functions in Python programming language. So let's begin. And one more thing guys, if you have not subscribed our channel till yet then please subscribe our channel and don't forget to, don't forget to press the bell icon, okay? So this is part 8 of our Python programming tutorial. In this video, we will discuss the fruitful functions or how to use fruitful functions in Python programming. And the overall explanation, explanation in this session has been divided into three parts. The first one is how to use the return statement in Python, the Boolean, fun Boolean functions in Python, and how to write a factorial program in Python. So let's begin our discussion. How to use return statement? The functions we are using till now have don't don't have any kind of return type or return value, and that's why those functions are known as void functions. In any programming language, we can make our specific functions that have specific kind of return types, and these functions or such kind of functions in programming or in Python programming are known as known as the fruitful functions. For example, let me open the scripting mode. I am declaring, I am de uh, creating a function name area and asking a value, asking a parameter side. Here I am declaring using a variable temp equals to side exponential two. Here basically I am trying to find the area of square area of square okay and I am print and then I will return temp so let me execute it area of square and let's take the side as 4 units so the result is 16 basically I am restricting the type of what I want from this function instead of using print I am using what I am using temp and I am using the return statement that this will only return me the temp variable and the data type of this variable is restricting to the integer data type. So this becomes a fruitful function because it is returning me a particular kind of value. That's why the that's how the return statement can be used in Python and that's how you can use the fruitful functions in Python programming and as I said also the above function immediately immediately returns the temp variable as we execute the area function and hence these functions are known as the fruitful function here the fruit means the kind of value we want from from our functions okay so the next part is the boolean functions as the name suggests the functions which have the return type as boolean like true or false such kind of functions in python are known as the boolean functions so the functions that only persist two types of values one as the true and the other is false so these function becomes the boolean function like uh, let me declare another well another function here def check and here I am using two variables a and b if a is less than b return true but if it is not true then what will then what we should get Return 
false that's it so let us try to work with this function check that's the name of our function check and in this function we have two variables one is two and let me a equals to two and let b equals to three let's see what will happen true because here our a is less than b that means two two is less than three that's why the function return us true but if i change this again if i'm using check three comma two then i will get false because three is greater than two so that's how you can use the boolean functions in python programming the boolean fruitful functions in python programming the next part is how to write a factorial program in python basically here in this case we are going to use the uh, we are going to implement the fruitful function functionality and the uh, recursive function functionality in our one program basically a factorial of a number is defined as the product of the integer with all the integers below it that means the factorial basically means if I am using this the factorial of 3 or 3 factorial it will be 3 into 2 into 1 into 0 and 0 factorial is equals to 1 so it will result as 6 now we need to write this with the help of a program so here I am using uh, declaring a function name factorial and uh, passing a parameter n if n is equals to 0 then return 1 because the 0 factorial is 1 else recurs equals to factorial n minus 1 that means I am assigning a variable and passing it a value as the n minus 1 of this and result equals to n multiply by recurs let me write this program for you guys define factorial like a here I am changing the name of our variable a if a equals to 0 return 1 else else we will use this recurse recurse equals to factorial n minus 1 and return sorry result result equals to n multiply by this recurse and return the result so that's it this is our program that we are going to use for our factorial function let me save it and let us execute it factorial suppose I want to find the factorial of 4 let us check where we are oh sorry basically we are using the variable a but factorial Four, 24 because 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 0 4 6 are 24 that's why we are getting this result here so let us see what actually happened in this program first we declared a function factorial and uh, basically a parameterized function factorial which asks the parameter a if the value of a equals to 0 then it this function will return 1 but if the value of this a is not equals to 0 but 
some number like 1, 2, 3 or 4, 3 or 5 then the control passed to this else block and here we are declaring a variable recurs and assigning it a value as factorial a minus 1 because the number is 4 so factorial 4 minus 1 will be used and this recurs will becomes what this recurs value will be passed here in this and the result variable that we are declaring will becomes a multiplied by recurs so a is our what 4 and recurs is our what factorial of 3 here then then at this place this will be passed again here and again it will check this whether it is equals to or not equals to 0 then 4 multiply by 3 and then again 3 multiply by 2 and then 2 multiply by 1 so the overall result that we will get here is 4 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 2 and multiply by 1 and at the end we will get the result as 24. So that's how you can use the factorial function in Python programming and we are ending up this, this discussion here of the fruitful functions in Python programming. If you liked our video, uh, please share this video with your peers and friends and please subscribe our channel for more latest updates like this. Thanks for watching.